From the time of the American Revolution, enterprising young men traveled from farm to farm, selling goods that isolated farm families needed and wanted but couldn't obtain otherwise. Often hailing from New England, these Yankee peddlers walked the muddy country roads with trunks strapped to their backs. When the roads improved, they used push carts or wagons drawn by animals. Also known as hawkers or chapmen, trunk peddlers were usually independent salesmen who owned the goods they sold. Small portable items such as combs, pins, cheap jewelry, knives and woodenware, knitted goods and books. Most farmers were usually low on cash, so the peddlers bartered their wares for farm products, which they then sold at a cash profit in country stores and town markets. From around 1820 through 1880, as the American frontier expanded, the peddling trade expanded along with it. Peddlers sold or bartered a wide variety of items that farmers and frontier villagers couldn't or didn't make for themselves, including tea, sugar, spices, satins, calico, clocks, ceramics, and Dutch ovens. Even on the very edges of the frontier, peddlers kept the settlers supplied with whiskey, needles, farm tools, and other household goods. Many peddlers, especially those in the thriving tinware trade, were staked or backed by small northern shops and factories, which paid them a percentage of sales or sometimes even a flat wage. To an isolated farm family, the tin peddler's wagon filled with milk pails, dishpans, dustpans, cooking pots, coffee pots, clocks, and many other household items was always a welcome sight. Besides bringing needed goods to frontier Americans, Yankee peddlers made an important contribution to the growing American economy. The cash they brought in helped provide the capital that in turn allowed small manufacturers, such as New England clock companies, to expand rapidly.